the shadows of the picturesque landscapes of Washington State, a sinister tale unfolded that would send shockwaves through the nation. A name that would forever be etched in the annals of true crime history emerged, Gary Ridgway, the infamous Green River Killer. In the 1980s and 1990s, while the world went about its daily routine, a predator lurked, targeting the most vulnerable members of society. The Green River Killer's reign of terror cast a dark cloud over the Pacific Northwest, leaving a trail of tragedy and horror in its wake. As we embark on this journey, we will unravel the chilling narrative behind the moniker that sends shivers down spines, the Green River Killer. Together, we will delve into the depths of this heinous individual's psyche, understanding the meticulous methods he employed to ensnare his victims and evade the clutches of justice for far too long. The serene waters of the Green River, which lent the killer his haunting name, would unwittingly bear witness to some of the most gruesome acts ever committed. But this story is not only one of darkness and despair, it is also a testament to the tireless efforts of law enforcement agencies and the resilience of communities impacted by the killer's actions. We will explore how advancements in forensic technology and the dogged determination of investigators gradually chipped away at the facade of anonymity that Ridgeway had so carefully constructed. Join us as we peel back the layers of mystery surrounding the Green River Killer, revealing the psychological intricacies that drove him to commit such heinous acts. We will also shed light on the broader societal issues that his crimes brought to the forefront, from the treatment of marginalized individuals to the challenges faced by law enforcement in tracking elusive predators. In this deep dive into the chilling true story of the Green River Killer, we honor the memories of the victims who lost their lives far too soon, while acknowledging the resilience of those who fought tirelessly to bring justice to their names. The legacy of Gary Ridgway serves as a stark reminder of the darkness that can exist within humanity, compelling us to confront uncomfortable truths and strive for a safer, more just world. Gary Ridgway, infamously known as the Green River Killer, stands as one of the most notorious serial killers in the annals of American criminal history. Operating in Washington State during the 1980s and 1990s, Ridgway's heinous acts shocked the nation and left a trail of devastation in his wake. The name Green River Killer itself is a haunting reference to the location where many of his victims were found, along the banks of the Green River, near Seattle. Ridgway's gruesome crime spree spanned over a decade, during which he targeted vulnerable women, primarily sex workers and runaways, who often lived on the fringes of society. His ability to blend in and exploit the marginalized status of his victims allowed him to evade capture for an extended period, contributing to the high body count attributed to him. One of the most unsettling aspects of Ridgway's crimes was his meticulous approach to selecting, capturing, and ultimately killing his victims. He would often pick up women along known prostitution tracks or other areas, luring them with the promise of money or drugs. Once he had gained their trust, he would take them to remote locations, where he would strangle them to death. Ridgway's disturbing fascination with strangulation became a defining hallmark of his modus operandi. The case of the Green River Killer posed significant challenges for law enforcement. The victims were often transient, and their lifestyles made them more difficult to track and locate. Additionally, the sheer number of victims, eventually reaching a confirmed count of 49, overwhelmed investigative resources. The killer's cunning nature and his ability to avoid suspicion further compounded the difficulties faced by investigators. One of the remarkable, and somewhat ironic, aspects of Ridgway's eventual apprehension was his own willingness to cooperate with authorities. In 2001, he was arrested after being linked to DNA evidence found on some of the victims. Facing the possibility of the death penalty, Ridgway entered a plea deal in which he agreed to provide information about his victims and assist in locating their remains in exchange for a life sentence without the possibility of parole. 
This led to the recovery of numerous bodies, granting families some semblance of closure. Ridgeway's case highlighted the challenges of catching serial killers and the importance of advances in forensic technology, specifically DNA analysis. His willingness to confess to his crimes also provided a rare opportunity for investigators to gain insight into the mind of a serial killer. While Ridgeway's motivations and psychological makeup were complex, he stated that he derived a sense of power and control from the act of taking another person's life. The Green River Killer's legacy extends beyond his own horrific deeds. The case prompted discussions about the vulnerability of sex workers and the societal biases that hindered a more immediate response to their disappearances. Additionally, it underscored the need for improved coordination between law enforcement agencies and better utilization of available resources in handling cases of serial murder. In the end, the tale of Gary Ridgway serves as a chilling reminder of the darkness that can reside within the human psyche. His actions left a scar on the collective memory of the Pacific Northwest and the nation as a whole. The moniker Green River Killer remains synonymous with the depths of human depravity and the tireless efforts of law enforcement to bring justice to those who were tragically taken too soon.